back. Runway shows are well underway to spotlight the big trends for fall. And don't think these fashions are only for the models. Stylist Darcy Camden is here to show us how to rock those ideas in real life yes. with real people. <laughs> Ultimately, this is what we try to do pretty much in every fashion segment that I ever talk about mm -hmm. is really make fashion feel attainable and relatable because we see these models and God bless Gigi Hadid. Right. But, <laughs> but that's never and everyone for who's us. five nine and a size two and twenty years old just right. like gets paid to look amazing in clothes. That's, and it's beautiful, but it we, you've taught us that we can borrow little pieces of this and make it our own. And that's really how you should watch a fashion show, or if you see these images which are floating around social media from all the runway shows. New York Fashion Week was um, last week, and Bellevue Fashion Week is mm -hmm. coming up. So there's a lot of inspiration floating around, and you can see these images, and you can kind of take them uh, and really make them your own. Maybe you wouldn't wear that head to toe. Who can who can afford to, right. frankly? But, but you, you can, can take, take an pieces. idea and make it work for you. Let's look at some of the trends. Let's take a, a look at this with the lace that, that lace. we're seeing now. And I should also say that the trends that we see on the runway really do trickle down to almost every single level of retail. So mm -hmm. the stuff that the designers show is what we're going to be shopping for the seasons to come. And Makes lace sense. is probably the biggest trend. And going into holiday, it's perfect. Oh, that is wonderful. So we have a model that you've put all Our together so that we can see how to use this lace in the best sort of way. Our first model is Bethany, and she's wearing a look head to toe from Lane Bryant. And when I went into Lane Bryant this weekend, uh, there was so much lace, lace top, lace pants yep. even, uh, and we were just swooning over this gorgeous lace bell skirt that's black and blue. Mm -hmm. So um, it pairs really well with all those black basics that you might already have. We did a little over the shoulder leather jacket. I think it's a vegan leather jacket. Makes wear it, it like really affordable. You like that. Kind of wear it like a cape. That's straight off the runway. Mm -hmm. All all the designers do that. They drape their layers yep. so that you can see every piece. But that works too. Going you know to a party or an yeah, event. Absolutely. It's really fun. So love all this. And Bethany actually works at the Lane Bryant at Northgate, and they are so helpful in helping uh, everyone put together outfits. So I know that's really frustrating. Sometimes you can find a skirt like this and you think, oh, that's really lovely. I would like to own that, but I don't know necessarily how I would wear that. Mm -hmm. And they're happy to help. They can help you. Thank you so much. The next trend we're going to talk about is red, which I'm so happy about because I absolutely love red. Me too, but it's really like you need the confidence and it's very, very bold. And the way we saw it on the runway was like red with red with red, head to toe mm -hmm. look, which is a little bit bold and intimidating for many. Well, let's see our model and see how you've interpreted this. But our model is Marty. So great. And she is wearing a red cape. Her entire look is from Zara, very mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. We did a red cape, which I think is awesome. She could wear that with jeans. She that could wear great. that uh, all through the winter. But we layered red cape over a red top. Mm -hmm. There's red in her skirt. And she's carrying a red handbag, and so we really, this is called monochrome styling, when you take a color and you repeat it multiple times. Mm -hmm. And maybe if red is not your color, you could really do this with almost any, you could do this with green, you could do this with blue, you're mm -hmm. taking a color and kind of repeating, layering it with itself. It's really fun and fresh, and maybe a new way to interpret what you might already own. That is really pretty. Thank you so much. Let's talk about velvet, which is kind velvet. of it's been happening since last season, last year, but now we're seeing it even more. Yeah, good news for anybody who bought velvet last yeah. last fall. Yeah. You can wear it again. Oh, what is that in the middle? That is beautiful. I'm sure just lots and lots of velvet. Oof. Yeah, beautiful colors. It's mm -hmm. very rich and it um, feels so good, soft, great to wear. Um, and but head to toe velvet can be can be a lot. Yes. If you're not Elvis, it can yes. be tough <laughs> to pull it off. But let's see what you've done with your so, model. So Veronica, who's a grandma, to, uh, she is wearing um, this. Um, her entire look is from J. Crew, uh, and we did this gorgeous velvet bomber jacket, that is which I so think pretty. is really f like kind of a fresh alternative to maybe like a leather jacket and something yeah. that can beautifully dress up but also be worn with a t-shirt and jeans. So I love pieces that you can get a lot of use out mm -hmm. of. That's a great thing about velvet. You can kind of style it casually or you can really, really elevate it to be uh, maybe even over like a cocktail dress. I was just going to ask, you could put it over a dress for the holidays, couldn't you? Oh yeah. 
And then she's also wearing a velvet shoe. So if you really want to just kind of literally dip your toe into mm -hmm. this trend, you can do velvet on a shoe and wear wear that um, all throughout the holiday season. Would Sounds be gorgeous. Good. Those Little, are really pretty. Are the shoes green? from J. Crew as well? They are. Okay. And their shoes right now, I have to say, very very comfortable. Oh, good. Yeah. And I love that um, chunky, chunky lower heel. block heel. Yep. That's walkable. That's perfect. Okay, so mixed prints. Let's take a look at this. And this is something that we see on the runway, and we think, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much. You get kind of nervous mixing things um, that don't seem like they would necessarily go together. But we have Justine showing us how Come this can out. be interpreted in real life. Oh, that looks so with nice. With another look from Lane Bryant, we did this really cool hounds blazer which I just love so much and we paired it with two other prints so her sweater is like a burgundy color with a black polka dot mm -hmm. and then we have a camo scarf and the thing that all these prints have in common is that they all have black in them so black is kind of the connector between all three of the prints here and then on bottom we did solid black so black is kind of yeah, the connector. And I know you like this when they're not all the same big print or small print. Mix mm -hmm. that to make it work. Okay, very quickly, we have just a few se seconds, but tell us about Bellevue Fashion Bellevue Week. Bellevue Fashion Week, for anybody who hasn't gone, definitely come check it out. I highly recommend the free events at the Bellevue Collection on Saturday. I'm going to be there, and we're also going to do tune in to our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little backstage this uh, is preview be of the Friday night show Posh Party. Perfect. So you can watch from home. Well, you, can, you don't have to do anything. You can sit in your PJ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be with Darcy as she gives us a backstage look at Bellevue Fashion Week this Friday. Please follow us on Facebook, New Day Northwest, for a special Facebook live tour behind the scenes. That'll fun. be fun. Yeah. I love it. We can put anything on TV. After the break, it's time to nominate your favorite people, places, and things in this year's Best of Western Washington after this.